Hey guys, Tanner Flowers here, and we are just now starting a brand new project. And guys, I'm the last person in the world that's ever going to tell any of my customers, hey, you need to go get a sump pump installed on this job. Because you don't know this, but I know this for a fact, that 99% of every single nationwide company inspector, salesperson coming over to your house, whenever they add that sump pump, uh, install and all that plumbing work onto your crawl space encapsulation bill, do you realize that more than 90% of you never needed that sump pump? Huh? Huh? Did you know that? You probably didn't. So, this job right here, we came here to start it this morning, and he didn't need a sump pump. We was just under here last week. It was dry as a bone. But it's been piss pouring rain here for like two days straight. And I'm going to go into here right now and show you and everybody else exactly what you're going to be looking at when you really do need a sump pump. And if you don't see this stuff, don't let these pieces of crap sell you nothing. Here we go. Let's go look at this. All right, guys. Got my main man, Chance Widener, over here hard at work. What's up, Chance? How's it going? Take you on back in here, guys. Let me uh, stop for just one second and turn the light on this camera. Okay, there we go. I'm going to move forward now. So, take notice, guys. Right now, you're looking at this old, you know, this is probably a three mil black uh, vapor barrier that's been down in this home since it was built. Um, you'll, you don't see any standing water, do you? No, of course not. You don't see it anywhere. And uh, let me turn around here. You don't see any standing water anywhere around here, around Chance or me. But, if we keep crawling back towards this way, you are going to see some standing water here momentarily and a lot of the water is flowing down 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 towards that direction right here but i'm getting ready to stop all that crap because i'm going to stop it at the source see david's already got a french drain around the outside of this house just like a lot of you have but the way the ground is sloped all the water from outside at his driveway is coming towards me and if we look down here that over there that that back wall that is the furthest point all that water is coming off that driveway settling down into that low point and i'll go over there in just a second and all that water is holding up into this puddle right here this was not here last week okay so now that we got here this morning and seen this I'm always telling people, you know, worst case scenario in the future, if you were to ever get any water on top of the poly, we could come in at that time and put a sump pump in if needed. But guys, if you've got this much standing water and you run that encapsulation over that, and I don't care if you're as perfect as we are, and I know none of you are, but I don't care how perfect you do it, that water will come through a seam. All it needs is a pinhole, and you'll never even see that pinhole, but you'll come in here one day and you'll see water standing on top of your poly, and what are you going to do then? Well, let's go ahead and address that before it ever happens. So what we're going to end up doing here, and i still got to go get all these materials, but what, uh, let me squeeze there. Uh, uh, God, better watch what I'm doing, I'm gonna get friggin' soaked. So look at all this, guys. All this water standing here. Uh, I'm going to, I say I, we are going to start from that corner. We are going to put a French drain all the way around that. All the way down to that corner, down that wall, to that point right there and then we will angle from that point right over to here and i'll anger, angle from that point right there right over to here i'm probably going to install the basin somewhere exactly right in this vicinity where all this big puddle is holding up i will run another drain line right over there to the edge of that pier and i will have it all one drain line two drain lines coming over it for a third so three drain lines will all be coming into the basin which will be located right here that will then have a sump pump in it that will pump this water up i'll run it over and we're going to run it all the way down the back side of that crawl space over there to that far wall and discharge it out and discharge it out of the home's main drain line over here that will send it way out into the fields along with the rest of his 
drainage water. So I'll show you here. It's just on the other side of Chance. You'll see that pipe right there. So I'm going to be working and we'll tie in everything to that right there. So, so there you go, guys. I hope all of you have learned something. I hope I've been able to save a whole lot of you from wasting your money. And uh, I hope it kept it out of some of the crooks' pocket. And any of you crooks that don't like it, oh, I wish I could say what I really want to. Because and one of these days, I'm, one of these days I'm going to let loose. I'm really going to start saying how what I really feel. And uh, it just ain't time for that yet. We ain't at that point. But it's coming, baby. So stay tuned, guys. This crawl space is going to have a complete makeover. It's going to be just another immaculate masterpiece here in just a very short amount of time. And uh, let's get to work on getting rid of this water.